Guys, this deck does so much damage. Holy cow. No wonder it's doing well on ladder. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Liberty, and welcome to another daily video. Today, we're playing some brand new Draven Riven aggro using some of the new cards and, you know, remixing some of the old ones. If you like the video, drop a like. If you're brand new, subscribe and come check me out on my Twitch. I'm streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Enjoy the video. Okay, guys, I am super excited to show you guys this list because it is a Draven Riven deck that is actually not only good, but the top of the ladder right now. It's in the top five. I have not seen a Riven deck do this well in a while, and I am excited. The basics of it is this is actually very similar to the discard aggro shell, but we've swapped out Riven for Jinx, and we've gone for more Spellburn through the Decimates and the Farron than we normally would have because we don't have the Jinx Rockets. So instead we're going for a more unit heavy approach. We're using the blades to buff units. And so it plays very similarly to discard aggro, but we're going more unit heavy, less discard your full hand to get Jinx Rockets heavy. Therefore, for your moles, you're gonna basically treat it like discard aggro. You just basically want a bit, lot of small stuff to overwhelm your opponents with. That being said, let's jump right into some games. Okay, we got some Yasuo Malphite. Full stun deck. Big scary control stuns. We got the ribbon. Uh, I will hold a Poro Cannon. Blade Fragments are also useful as discard targets, should you need them. Basically just giving you card advantage off of things like Poro Cannon and the Urchin. I would prefer to use them, but it's the same as Draven Axes, right? You just want to want to basically maintain card advantage as long as you possibly can. Slap down a rune. Ooh, actually, let's go for a bot. Not as aggressive as choice as a rune weaver, but I really do want to basically get off as much card advantage as we can. It's like we can slip down to Dredger here. Uh, we could have a Poro to match the Assassin, but I'm not actually worried about him damaging us right now. I more just want to start pressuring him board-wise. There's no pressure to lay out our Riven because Riven now gives the Blade Fragments. As long as you have the attack token, you don't need to actually place her before the attack token, which is really handy. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Safety disengaged. I feel like we just develop a little bit wider and go for a big swing. Interesting choice, sure. I can respect that. Does make me, me sad that I didn't swing earlier, but it is what it is. Interesting you didn't take the trade, just because that trade's just happening later now, but... I definitely made a mistake by not taking that trade, that swing earlier. With this Brother's Bond, we're going to be able to get in a lot... Oh, shoot. That's no good. Uh, these are sending the two weakest, so it'll take the um, the Poros. It's nice. Words of power linger in the air. Shoot off an ignition. Um, these are sending the two weakest. So they're sending the Poros. Okay. Um, uh, in terms of Blade Fragment, we have the full Blade of the Exile from Riven here. Let's put everything on Ballistic Bot and then put the actual Blade itself on Riven. Ballistic Bot's actually a really great target for full Blade stats, right? Can you improve perfection? Maybe I should have uh, put all this on Riven and then sneaking, but given the the uh, most spot permanent overwhelm, right? I mean, this is a stun deck. He can he can shut down this attack all he wants, but dang, this ballistic bot's giant. I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. You can nope or fire or deny this if he doesn't want to deal with a gigantic Riven coming at him, but, you know. Can I get a nope out of him? Perhaps? Oh, wow. A whole coming recall. Uh, I guess we try to stop that. I would very much, if he's going to burn that much to remove my Ballistic Bot, 
I would very much like this thing to swing, right? And that's exciting. Oh, he's fully tapped. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Guys, that's so much damage. Holy cow. It's too late for you. We we have just two more damage. He doesn't have much healing in these colors. I mean he does, but not this archetype doesn't usually run it, if that makes sense. Because we got two two ignitions coming out right here. I don't think that he can I mean he has a leveled Malphite here, so Oh he does have he does have healing, okay. So we're not we're not through this yet. We're just, you know. I write the rules of power. The dark beckons. I think I'll just let this hit face and then just swing at him. There's nothing he can really do, right? I want a quick attack blade fragment. Perfect for our ballistic bot. Get Riven some more stats, and then we'll just send it. Guys, this dex is so much damage. Holy cow. No wonder it's doing well on ladder. Like, I knew it would probably be good, but like, look at this. Okay, it is a full stun list. He is fine. But, yeah, I guess he's not. <laughs> I guess he's not. GG's. At last, a way forward. Wow. Okay, Lee, Ak, whatever his face is, Akshan. The, the, the singing sentinel dude. Okay. Uh, I will I will take this hand. Yes, sir. Basically, the, the perk of this hand is we can basically use blade fragments as fodder for our dredger. See the world. Just basically curve out in terms of hand advantage extremely quickly. I'll show the Lee uh, Akshan is a pretty fun concept, though. You basically have the new action card that's... Uh, like a temporary 4-2 buff for, with Overwhelm for 4 mana. At burst speed though, that's the real fun part. It's it's one round only, but it is at burst speed, so... That's a very powerful tool for Lee. Uh, to develop worth, I think so. Me think so. Tasty Faith, okay. Now, if he has a buff for this, I'm gonna be pissed, but... It's a really unfortunate trading pattern, but you know, if it dies, we're happy. Gosh dang it. That was the risk of attacking without my mana up. Man. So they'll just shoot it later though, right? I need that thing dead. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Uh, we can dredge her out. We'll get rid of uh an overwhelm, I guess. If he taps low enough, I will Mystic Shot the Sinking Fey Folk. He's not gonna tap, but that doesn't mean he, that means he doesn't get a uh, Dragon Link, so we're fine. As long as we have a Mystic Shot up here, basically we have a Get Excited up here, so we can trade pretty well into the Fey Folk. So I'm content. Just chill. Gosh dang it, I hate Concussive so much. It's such an annoying card. Such an effective card, I guess. I'm fine with this, though. Hey, all the dragon block. Oh, I really need to take out the Sing of Faith Oak. I'm not going to commit spells on him if I can just trade off of him, though. Another Sing of Discipline. Yeah, I'm going to put him on not a third discipline and just the Mystic Shot his face. Us. Ooh, killing the Dragonling is also appealing, but one thing at a time. Come on, you can't have another one. Okay. Let's get Faith Folk. Oh. 
That little unit has been a pain in my butt. Oh, great. Double Eye of the Dragon. Every aggro player's dream to see from the opponent. This might be a rough one, boys. Might be a rough one. We can remove these stinking freaks in nature that we're going to heal him for full every round. We'll be fine, but... The party has arrived. The jury's still out on that one. Put his lead down. Yep. Is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, master. The, this whirling death is going to be super useful here. He, has, he doesn't have double spell proc, so we can threaten the Eye of the Dragons here, which is really important. Uh, we could slam down to Riven. We don't have enough for a full blade combo, though, so I don't think it's really worth the tempo loss. We're just going to send it. We've got a Spinning Axe, so we can prop up this Ballistic Bot to much larger than it normally should be quite fast. Might have been worth uh, throwing a Blade Fragment on something earlier, but, you know, one thing at a time. Not oh, throwing the Blade Fragment on open was maybe a mistake, but I don't know. Ready yourself. Their heartbeats quicken. Um... I'm going to offer the second Eye of the Dragon kill. I really, I don't really care about the Lee. I don't think he can full, full health me. He very well may be able to, but I don't think he can. And this will basically give us an out of that we might be able to win the game. Given the fact that he doesn't have basically infinite healing now. Uh, I'm going to overextend here with the Decimate. Just because his deck doesn't necessarily want to interact very well with it. And I want to, like, getting out the Denies here are really important because I need the Whirling Death and the Get Excited and that side of stuff later to be able to mess up, mess his Lee up. Hello, ba Boom Baboon. Glad to see ya. As long as he doesn't get overwhelmed on his Lee, we're set. He may very well, though. Thankfully, this only counts as two spell casts. It used to count as three. Because Lucky Find would cast an option and then cast a buff, which was counted for Lee as a double spell. He started this round at um, at four. So usually that would that that used to take him up to seven, but you know, a couple patches ago they fixed it and it only is two individual spell casts, which makes sense from the card text. Okay, this is this is the problem card right here. That does put him one off lethal. No, his level takes him to lethal. So we need to break spell shield and kill him. We might be able to do that. Maybe not. The, the crazy thing is he did that all at burst speed. Uh, we're fine if we can remove the Draven, so we'll just get excited the Draven directly. Right? I think that's the only way out. And then we'll just look for a, a, a lethal wide swing next round. Draven down. I don't think we're going to be able to lethal next round, but we might be able to. You never really know, right? We might just be able to because we can pull out the flame chompers and then just full send it with everything else with a level driven too. The Farron is an interesting drop. I wonder if I just drop the Farron. I doubt that he I doubt that he has he, this one card will significant like unless he drew like the stun. Yeah. Guys, that Lee was super scary. But because he full tapped, didn't have those denies. We've got out his uh, his deny, so he didn't hold it up. Uh, we we managed to survive because the thing is that he didn't need that last double spell cast, so he had four mana to spare. So because we baited out that deny earlier, so that he didn't hold it up, then that's that actually won us the game. 
Okay, Cody Valdez with some Shivana Diego. Spooky, scary dragons. I do want to try some Shadow Isles dragons. That sounds pretty fun. I'm going to keep a Brothers Bond Poro Cannon combo here because these dragons do not have a lot of good interactions with elusive units. And so if I can get a Brothers Bond on some Poros, that's a lot of potential damage. And we can sheet out a Flame Chompers if need be to guarantee this five if I want to, depending on what unity fields. Or you just might not have a good unit, which is entirely possible as well. What you got, little Viego Hauntling? Which is honestly pretty cute. The keeper, sure. Five damage for free, boys. Let's go. This deck... I mean, it does have a lot of healing options. I don't know how many of them he's running, though, right? The question is, do we Riven or do we try to get a Poro Cannon out to Brothers Bond? I suppose it depends on what he'll do. We'll be patient. Guys, we'll be patient. Ew, a soldier. We'll just Riven, then. It's fine. And blade, both broken. Riven's nice just because he can't swing with the soldier because it's a free trade for us. I'll take one damage. I literally don't care. Uh, I think I'm just going to sack the Flame Chompers here. Um, what can we do to buff this attack more? Um, this is one, two, so we can get like a decent chunk onto Riven maybe? Um, let's just divert, let's diversify the, um, the damage though. Let's just do that. I like that. <laughs> Offering to take him down to five is pretty good. This is weak to a vile feast. Ooh, a sing we got a single combat out of him? Sure. Absolutely. That's fine by me. The main thing is we keep a plane chompers up here, so we actually get we get to use it again to do more shenanigans. Get our Poros out. We're going to slap a Brother's Bond on them. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, he got his dragon out, so that is scary, but it's not a challenger dragon, so we can just let it hit face, and we literally don't care. And we have leveled Riven, basically. Okay, this, this one's a problem. Uh, we can trade Riven into it with a Brother's Bond if we want to. Uh, let's plan on Riven not living. I'm gonna plan on Riven not living. Okay, I was I was pretty sure he was gonna do that. I'll take this trade. I will I'll take all the trades actually. Uh we'll brothers bond here just to kill the dragon. And then we'll just replay Riven. the ties that bind get us some more card advantage gotta love the card advantage guys um quick attack yeah we'll get quick attack to the river that's fine That's fine. Doing quite a lot of damage this way. Really gonna take that trade, sir? You gave us lethal. Guys, this deck, man. I know what I must do. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I had my doubts at first. Here I'm in a full screen. I had my doubts at first. I'm gonna be honest, I literally, like, I'm, I'm kind of in a rush today, so I literally just pulled this from the top of Masters and was like, you know, I need to make a video and need to give a shot. This deck has so much explosive power, I'm honestly gonna strongly consider it to climb with. Like, oh my gosh, the amount of aggro you get out really wide boards 
and tall units. Usually you have to pick one or the other, right? You have to either go really wide, kind of discard aggro style or spiders, and you get board wiped, or you can go really tall, like a normal Riven deck or like a Lee Sin deck where you have this one big carry that's gonna smash overhead. This deck does both, and it's running all of the good burn spells. We got the Mystic Shot, got the Get Excited, got the Decimate, so. I'm a major fan, highly recommend it. Uh, give the deck a shot. It'll be in the description, the code and the Mobilytics page. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time.